going from a very traditional established church at Sheridan Hills was to a very casual, you know, come, fold up chairs. No pews. No pews. Like it, it, was, it was different because we liked the tradition. And it was, it was so different to be at, um, you know, a startup church. When we got to West Pines, it was so such an intimate family setting with just a few families. It, the hard part was um, our kids were involved in student ministries and there wasn't any. The youth department consisted of two girls, our daughter and Clark Mayer's daughter. <laughs> that was the youth department yeah. at the time. There was a commitment to make it work and it was faith that was letting open that would be more families would join us. We started having meetings in, in the, the, the original pastor's home and then um, we went to Clark Mayer's house and then we moved to where Potential Church is. Um, we met in their band room. Where did we go from there? It's hard to, oh, Chapel Trail, Chapel Trail Elemen Elementary, Elementary School. School. And that's where oh. we just, we started growing. Randy Killian was a fireman. He really was the setup guy. He that was man did more work for this church than I could ever describe. Not only set up, he'd pick up the truck, the, tr the trailer, and the, everything that they had to bring to the church, and we bring it. Some storage set up. from I wherever mean, that was. And there were a few times where the truck went on fire. Yeah, and one stuff. time it caught on fire while he was trying to bring it. <laughs> and <laughs> there were times there was nobody to set up or tear down. And we were taking the cafeteria tables down so, so we could set chairs up. And we, we looked forward to um, the holidays when the school was out. We could just leave everything <laughs> set up. Yeah, I, I do remember those. <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> there was a lot of comical things. And there were a lot of times things wouldn't work or something got dropped and set up. But they, we always managed to pull it off. Coming here, I, re I remember thinking, I was very nervous about it, moving out here to having a sanctuary where we didn't have to tear down or set up and tear that down. That was the best part. That was, that was something to look forward to. But at the same time, I was very nervous about the expense that I was thinking we were taking on. And now I'm just, now we're talking of expanding uh, to a, a satellite campus. I'm just absolutely, Amazed, I, I cannot tell you. It's where we're sitting right now. The first time I saw it, it was it was emotional. I had goosebumps. I couldn't believe it. And then I look at a lot of the work was all done by talent right here in church. You know that people have sacrificed their time to do it. Just beyond what we could have imagined. There's only a God God could do. It's just incredible to see how the church has grown and how it's still growing. And we started out with probably 30. What I would have to say to the people who would commit to the pilot campus is how God started this church, God will use the pilot campus just the same way. And whoever God leads to start these um, new campuses, I believe that it is God leading people. So just to follow and listen to what God has to say to you. I mean, I am just happy to have been a part of it from day one. I'm not surprised every week, but at the same time, I'm in awe of where it has gone to and who knows where it can go. Who knows? I just, uh, the, goal, the goal is to uh, transform South Florida, right? Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, it's happening, you know, a little at a time.